replace your chuck tooling, the first step is to remove the can guide from inside the seamer. To do that, with a half inch wrench, you'll remove the outside two bolts. Next, you will remove the arm bearing assembly. To start, you will remove the spring that holds both arms to the cam. Then, remove the bearing cap and the grease fitting from up above. Then, using a 3 16 Allen wrench, you will remove the three retaining clips that hold the arm bearing assembly to the top plate. Next, you will use a 15 64th by 1 and 3 quarter inch spanner wrench and a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. Remove the center bolt from inside the chuck using the Allen wrench to keep the chuck from spinning. Next, using two spanner wrenches, hold the shaft with one and spin the chuck with the other. Note that this is a reverse thread and could be very tight from use. To reinstall your chuck, ensure that you spin this on with a left hand thread. When tightening, you want to ensure that there's no gap in between the stainless steel shaft and the gold colored chuck tooling. Then, after adding blue Loctite to the center bolt, reinstall. This is a standard thread.
and reinstall the arm bearing assembly. Ensure before tightening down the clips that your grease fitting port is facing the rear of the seamer. Next, reinstall the grease fitting in the arm bearing assembly. Reinstall the bearing cap. Reinsert the spring. And reinstall the guide rail. After a reinstallation, you want to double check your heights from your rollers to your chuck. Adjustment for that is in a separate video. <laughs> 